Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I know we're a bit behind. I want to apologize. I know I keep telling you guys it's been crazy. It's been crazy, but you guys have no idea how busy we've been. <laughs> for those of you guys that have contacted us and are trying to set up appointments, please, first of all, thank you guys for being extremely patient and please be patient. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys get a bit frustrated. I've been seeing a lot of you guys comment on my Instagram like I emailed you. Don't think that I'm ignoring your messages. I am absolutely not. We're just still trying to catch up to the past two months. So you, just so you guys can get an idea. Um, also, we are now booking for April and May. So just putting it out there for you guys. Okay. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. I wanted to get a little bit deeper into the readings for the month of March. So we're going to be using the shells right after that. We're going to be getting into the tarot and then we're going to be pulling out a spirit oracle or an oracle card, a uh, direct message from spirit. OK, all right, my lovelies, let's get into this. How are you doing, Virgos? I see you guys shining. A lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are really putting effort and energy towards um, towards your health, your physical appearance. There is something that's going on with that. Okay, let's get into this. Let's see exactly what's going on. Yeah, so I definitely see you, for some of you guys, taking new routines. This could be like, um, as an example, if you're not an active uh, person or very sporty, I do see you guys like really stepping it up a bit um for some of you guys this could be uh directly connected with your image or how you present yourself to the world this could be like makeovers this could be cutting your hair different dyeing your hair different um really for some of you guys integrating a more healthier balance in your in your health and how you eat um so that's definitely because they're showing me transformation of the physical aspect. So again, physical aspect would mean your body or how you present yourself uh, to the world. Now, I do see for some of you guys, there's going to be an opportunity. Um, there is an opportunity that's coming up that this could be in connection with moving. Uh, this could represent like changing residency. But I feel that it has more to do with circumstance and situation. So what I mean by that is some of you guys may be going through, uh, as an example, like getting hired on or getting a higher position, uh, not at the locality where you're currently at. It could be the same company, uh, but there may be like uh, more opportunities for advancement in a different location. And I see you guys really contemplating uh, if you guys should make the move or not. And what Spirit is telling you is absolutely it's time to start. Uh, start new uh, <clears throat> new endeavors. It's it's time for you to expand, Virgo, is what they're saying. Uh, literally, sky is the limit right now. So keep that in mind because I feel that whatever decisions you make from now is going to affect all the way up until six months. So there's going to be massive changes happening. For some of you guys, I do see connections. Um, like if you've been having difficulty with family member, friends, etc., where there was like a disconnect, uh, kind of pulling away, I, I see you guys coming back again or uh, rekindling, reconnecting type of energy. For some of you guys, this can also represent in love. Um, could be a person coming back from the past or reaching out, trying to see if you are welcoming, if you are open to giving this an opportunity, another go. Um in regards to that situation, if you are dealing with a person from the past, what they're telling you is uh, pay very close attention to how they reach out to you. So what I mean by that is I know this, th they're giving me a very direct message here. And what they're saying is um, for some of you guys, if when they reach out is like at odd, odd hours or something like that, or they randomly send something like so random just to create conversation. And it seems very like, flighty it seems very like um like not a lot of thought put into the message uh what they're telling you is be cautious because i feel that this person may be having uh issues or difficulties or troubles in regards to a relationship that either they've had or they just recently pulled away from so it's almost like things are not going great here so let me reach out to virgo and let me see what's going on with them uh, so again, do not get emotionally invested in this if it is at odd hours or a very random no thought into the text 
um, message that's coming through, okay? Just be mindful of that. Pay attention. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say in regards to what is unfolding for you, Virgos, for the month of March 2021. They're telling me, Virgo, that there is going to be a lot of growth. Wherever you felt that there was stagnation, and I feel that for a lot of you guys, this could have to do with your finances, with careers. Um, there, there's been like almost like almost like incurring one obstacle after the other, one obstacle after the other. And you're like, when do I catch a break? What Spirit is telling you, you will be catching a break very soon. Um, what, they're, what they're showing me here is like a door opening. So I definitely see blocks being removed. I see nothing but potential uh, for you guys uh, in regards to career and in regards to finances. So uh, any new things that may start to open up or new opportunities, Again, do not hesitate. Take those opportunities. Um, I feel that there's going to be a lot of advancement in this, even if it's like, a, as an example, career move or a position perhaps that you've never done or that you feel a bit intimidated by. Um, really challenge yourself to, to, to get up there, Virgo. Like, don't be afraid to shine because... Uh, you have a very strong work ethic, especially when you guys are extremely passionate about what you're doing. So you literally have no cap. What I mean by that is you literally are the only one that holds yourself back in regards to how high, how far you want to go when it comes to career or to your uh, to your career or to your finances, okay? All right, spirits, what are the messages for Virgo, Sun, and Rising Venus? month of march 2021 if you guys enjoy these readings definitely comment below like share subscribe um to encourage us to continue doing these videos it takes a lot of time and dedication doing these i don't do them back to back which is why sometimes you guys will see me wearing different clothes because it's a different day uh we have so many things going on and yeah so I appreciate you guys, and especially those of you guys that have been following me for many years. I've been connecting with so many of you guys through Instagram and TikTok. I am on Instagram, on TikTok, uh, TikTok Snapchat, uh, Facebook, but uh, not as active as I am on Instagram or TikTok. And I've been connecting with so many of you guys that tell me so many incredible stories, um, how you guys came to my channel, how long you've been following me, some of you guys three, four years. It's, it's amazing. So thank you guys so much for that love and that feedback. All right. All right. So right at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, you guys have the nine of cups. Nine of cups is a beautiful card. This is a card of manifestation. This is a card of emotional fulfillment this is a card that carries a lot of wish fulfillment and being able to attain it or being able to experience things synchronizing in your life as an example they're telling me for some of you guys it could have been like a situation where in the past perhaps you tried to apply for a specific job you didn't get that uh, position perhaps you were offered a lower position or perhaps you settled um, and what they're saying is that that's coming back around. So I see a lot of opportunities that are opening up. But for some of you guys, it could be opportunities that you thought had already passed you by and they're coming back around. And there is a lot of emotional fulfillment here. There's a lot of feeling blessed and counting your blessings. And I love this energy for you guys, uh, Virgo. All right, your first card here is the three of wands. So yeah, we definitely have expansion growth. Um, the three of wands is walking towards the four of wands. And what is the four of wands? It is stability, very strong foundation. So I, I see you guys building. I see you guys working towards building something. This could be career. This could be love. This could be romance, uh, connections. For some of you guys, it could be that uh, your circle became smaller and smaller and smaller. And you were like, you know, wow, like, from 12 people, you know, it's only nine or, or four or five that hang out now and make effort to be around each other. And what Spirit is telling you is embrace that because they're doing you a favor. They're pulling you away from distractions or people that are not good for you and making your circle smaller but stronger. 
All right, your next card here is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so you guys are being able to see the fruits of your labor. You're definitely seeing manifestations. A lot of abundance when it comes to finances, you guys. Um, I think that you guys are going into this cycle where all the work and effort that you put in the past couple of years, you're starting to see all of that unfold. Seven of Pentacles does represent also a person from the past, which is what the shells told us. There is a person from your past that may be thinking about you, longing for you, or wanting to reach out. I do see them reaching out. Again, take the messages for what they are. Now, your next card here is the Ten of Cups. Wow. So you guys have the Nine and the Ten. A lot of emotional fulfillment. For some of you guys, this could represent starting a new relationship, a relationship that starts off with very strong foundations. This is something that could lead potentially to commitment. So very powerful cards here, Virgo. And your next card is the Six of Cups. The past, past, past. Okay. So they keep bringing up the past. As you guys can see here, we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is nostalgia, but it also speaks about uh, a connection from the past, perhaps a connection where you felt very emotionally invested in this individual. Uh, it could have been that distancing was involved. It could have been that circumstances changed. They had to move or you had to move. Um, there was definitely some distance here. And I feel that they tried to move on or they tried to, like I said, um, the shells were mentioning something about uh, them either ending a relationship or walking away. Uh, or things not going that great, and that's why they're coming back around. And I definitely do see that. But for some of you guys, um, a very small group of you guys, uh, it could be that in reality, the reason why they walked away from this connection is because they did feel very like you were the one for them, Virgo. And they tried to move on, and they just couldn't, or the person they were with would never be, obviously never going to be you so i see them coming back around trying to enter your life trying to communicate trying to reach out um again take the messages for what they are so what i mean by that is if they reach out to you and this is a person from the past and someone that you may still have feelings for um and they come back around and they reach out to you and they're being very thoughtful or very honest and straightforward with their messages or with the call, um, then obviously you know that it is coming from a genuine place. Now, like I said, if they're texting you at midnight or if they're randomly texting you throughout the day and it's not, it's like, what are you doing or something like that, something that has no meaning behind it, just be cautious because it could be that things are not going great over here, so let me reach out to Virgo. All right, my lovelies. Okay, so let's see exactly what's going on. What is Spirit's message? Direct message for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of March, 2021. Virgos, I see you guys shining. You guys are, I think, one of the signs that is going to have a very, very strong year. Um... And I'm already seeing it in your readings. Um, in the past, I want to say past couple of two, three years, it's been rough on you guys. Um, and I'm definitely seeing much more optimistic readings, love stabilizing, uh, finances, you know, abundance, uh, success, new endeavors, beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, so your direct message here is 14. So... Again, I feel that it's very important for you to pay attention to um, people's actions. So I know that Virgos are, you know, usually you guys are very spot on when it comes to uh, picking up or reading energies or people's intentions. Unfortunately, when it comes to the matters of the heart, you guys probably suck at it. Um, and the reason for this is because you're so connected to Earth, right? That's your energy. Um and it is all about anything that has to do with business, like being business savvy, anything that has to do with uh, physical healing, anything that has to do with the material. You guys are very, very gifted at that. But when it comes to emotions, you guys can suck at that. <laughs> when it comes to personal matters of the heart. Uh, and the reason I say that, it could be because people give you 30,000 red flags and you're like, well... 
I'm the type of person that likes to see how red the flags can get. You see what I'm saying? Especially if you are feeling this very deep uh, physical connection with someone. So again, with the number 14 here, it speaks about, um, about lies, deception, trickery, uh, self-interest, and it's almost a warning. And what they're telling you is be smart about the people that you allow around yourself. Be smart about the people you invest in. So as an example, if you're going out with friends and it's usually you that picks up the tab, try not picking it up. Allow others to appreciate you as well. And this is in relationships as well. Stop doing and allow other people to show you to step up. Do you see what I'm saying? And sometimes it's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes people just get comfortable. The moment you shake things up, they start to, you know, step up, step up to the plate. They start doing what is expected or what you're wanting them to do um, in a positive way. It's almost like let people carry their own weight is what they're telling you here. Okay. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Bye.